All right, guys, welcome. We are, that is loud. <laughs> We're excited. We got Mike Killamit in the studio with us today. What's up, buddy? What up, man? Good to be up here. First time you've been up here, yeah? It is. It is. And eight years? Isn't that crazy? <laughs> like, it's, it's sad, yes. It, it, I don't want to say it's sad. It's just crazy. Because, first of all, the office that we had was, I mean, you know, I really wouldn't have wanted you to come up. <laughs> like, let's do it at a hotel. But, you know, you 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 played a big role in this, in us building this office. It's funny. I tell, I tell people the story. I'm like, yeah, we bought the bought this section of the building. Now we're going to buy the whole building. Yeah, but it's that's, that's pretty awesome. cool. That's a different story. So, and I said, and, and Mike helped me with the construction of it. And he lent me, like, some money, six figures worth, a little bit over that, a lot over that. And I didn't even sign any paperwork. And no. the guy, and everybody's like, what? And I was like, yeah, it's kind of like just a handshake deal. Like he knows I would not pay him and I would not ever not pay him. Yep. And it was all good to go, right? That was right. That was People funny. just don't get it. Like, no. isn't yeah. that crazy though? Yeah. Oh, I think um, what they don't understand all the stuff we've been through from day one. Right. And um, I knew you wouldn't ever, you weren't going anywhere. <laughs> right. You know, and I wanted to help you. And it sure. was an easy way to help. And I remember the phone call. You're like, so do you need me? I'm like, no, <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> I know where to find you if you don't pay me and you're good. Well, and it's funny when it. we were negotiating with integrity, they were like, they kept asking me. They're like, we need the, we need the, the, the paperwork on this <laughs> lo $160,000 loan. I'm like, I don't ha there is none. I'm like, <laughs> I never thought that through. We yeah, should yeah no doubt. That. I mean, they were fine. They just, it's like, they didn't, un they truly yeah. didn't understand that. I'm like, if y'all yeah. want to call him, his numbers, the, just reach out to him. He'll tell you, like, it's I've paid this much, and as soon as I'm done with y'all, I'm gonna pay it off. And so, anyway, thank you for that. Like, yeah, it's, no. it's it was a huge blessing, and this is what this is yeah, what we got no, out of it. I mean, it's awesome, dude. The, right? the office is phenomenal. I've seen pictures. Yeah, you know, and, um, I've seen this the 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 podcast and just being able to look in the office, and it's uh, man, it's really cool to think. Had a little bit to do with it, but not really. No, you, you did, did you all. Had a lot, of it. You had a lot to do with Jamie. Actually, did it. She, uh, yeah. I laid out, I laid it out. She, did, she did all the design. So, man, it's great. It's, it's pretty great. cool. So, all right, let's go back because you were one of the first Integrity Partners, right? Yeah. And your growth has been, I mean, honestly, I think we, you led the pack as far as that goes, because our mindset was so small when we left the other company. We were at fifty thousand dollars a month or 50 families a month, sorry, yeah. um, you were, you arrived. Right. And that yeah. was so small thinking was so small. And then yeah. when you, when you broke what, 10, a thousand families a month, is yeah. that a thousand families? Yeah. When you broke that barrier it was like the first four minute mile. And, yeah. and now it's just, if you're not doing that you're really not doing anything, yeah, you're, right? You're kind of falling behind. How did you, how did you navigate through all that stuff? And I mean, you, you've been great at it since day one with your emotions and managing the way you deal with people. It's, it's pretty impressive to watch. Yeah. I, uh, well, thanks Frankie. I, um, it's pretty simple. A lot, a lot of it had to do with the way Sean treated us. So it was very simple. I just passed it along. Uh, and we talked about, I talked a little bit about earlier in the training room is you, um, I'd rather make um, money with, with folks rest of my life then I have to keep hiring them over and over again all right and, and, and what I mean by that is I'd rather make smaller spreads and them not quit than to make a big spread and then look for something else to do because I'm making you know sure. it, it's not and there's and Sean always says like they sold insurance why are you getting right you know and um so that's always stuck with me um because I know how hard we work when we go out and, and sell the insurance and it's not right for me to to get 60 points or 50 points or sure. whatever the case may be when they're out there doing all the work. Right. And I think if um, Sean says all the time, you treat someone like an adult, they'll act like an adult. So that's kind of what I adopted that early on. And, um, and then I always, I always call, I used to buy volume. I was just buying volume. Yeah. And um, cause the bonus, the bonuses we have are great and they're not charge backable. Mm -hmm. So it's, I, I would buy the volume at five or 10 points and, and keep them. And that's how it steadily grew as fast as it did. And then I was able to, you know, you do it and, and all our guys do, we kind of adopted the same program sure. and it works. It just works. And, you know, you and I, we we're talking about earlier, we've known each other for almost 12 years now. It's like, we've been around <laughs> together for a right. long time. And it, it, there's a lot of guys, um, I think in this industry, Family First Life is probably one of the few companies you can think of that, um, that have those type relationships. Yeah. Because it's a lot of revolving door. You're like, oh, this guy's here. This guy's there. This guy's there. 
It's like, how come he's just not where he started? You know, and um, I think, you know, Sean talks about the, the three-legged stool. Right. Client, you know, um, agent, and then the company. company. Yeah. So so I just kind of did that, and it worked. Yeah, it did work. <laughs> it <laughs> it re- definitely worked. It really did work. You were, For a while, we're like, can anybody ever catch you? Because oh, you were yeah. moving so fast. And, you know, what do you think, what was the hardest thing for you that you had to change to 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 get to the next level of of leadership in this game yeah um i think it's the um and we talked about this earlier too it's it's you know you get to 150 um 150 families helped then 300 families helped 3000 family you you get to those those kind of those steps and i think sometimes it's human nature to relax right you hit a certain level and you relax you hit another level and you relax and well what in our world when you relax you kind of go backwards yeah no so, doubt um, for me i never looked at those numbers as levels i always would just i didn't have a level i was trying to reach i was just going to keep going does that make sense so like yeah. when i hit um the the you know hundred thousand whatever um families helped i didn't go oh i'm here i just kept it's like groundhog day okay you know it kept you know kept recruiting kept doing that, kept doing the same thing over and over again. And and then what you do is once you do that, you have other guys doing, they watch you do the same thing. They're like your kids, you know, they're going to do, your kids are going to act the way you act. Apples, trees Don't make, answer. apple trees make apples. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> you know, so it's, um, so it's that way. And you, uh, you have, um, thank you. No worries. <laughs> you have, you have to keep doing the same things over and over again and, and just stay even keel. Because things happen in business, not just our business. In business period, you have your ups, you have your downs. Things uh, you, know, you have charged, but things happen. And if you can just stay even kill, I, like, I talk about um, like hitting. I like to play golf. So you hit a bad golf shot. If you hit a tee shot into the woods, you can't break three clubs. Right. You know you can't get mad and break three. Cl- you might need one of those clubs to punch out of the trees. Sure. And you're on the first hole, <laughs> so you have to finish the round. And you, you, the first hole is your round's not over with. You can, right. you can make a bogey or a double bogey, a five, whatever, on that first hole, and you can make a birdie or, or par the next hole. This, this is the same way. If you freak out over a chargeback or you freak out over a really sharp person that doesn't do doesn't work, you know, it's yeah. frustrating, right? No I doubt. Mean, we have them. Like, man, he or she could be so good if they would just do, the, do <laughs> right, this, right? right? You see more more in them than they do, and that's okay. But and it's like golf with the with you have to stay even kill. You stay even kill – you're going to shoot in the seventies or in the pro you shoot this, but it's like, but if you freak out, you're going to shoot a hundred and you're going to be out of the tournament. No doubt. So it's the same way in this business. You'll be out of business. Well, and, and I love that because I, that makes complete sense. Like I hear it. I can digest it. I understand it. Yeah. Doing it's a different ball game. Mm-hmm. So, and that's why I, I enjoyed talking to you because, you know, I, I was, Directly mentored by Sean for the first, I don't know, we 12 years, so nine years, yeah. right? Because I just started really talking to you about two, three years yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you gave me a different perspective because Sean and I are like similar, similar, are I similar imagine, yeah, in, yeah, yeah, are. in temper and temperament, but he's a lot more mature than I am in business. But so were you born that way or do you read, are there books you read? Or is there things you practice? How, how did you, how do you keep it so even? So, so. I don't know if I was born that way. I, um, I have been pretty, I, I tell you what, um, changed my world a little bit thinking thought process wise. Um, I can remember like as yesterday as my dad, um, when I scored as a 10th grader, I don't know, playing on the varsity, I scored my first high school touchdown. And, um, I did some silly dance. <laughs> I, 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 I know it's shocking to you. Right. I didn't give the ball back to the official. So wow. my dad was offensive coordinator. So I came to the sideline. And he grabbed my face mask and he said, and you could do it back then. Yeah, yeah, no you doubt. Know? And he got in my face. He says, if you ever effing do that again, you'll never carry the ball again. Wow. And I was like, got it. Okay. He yeah. Goes, he goes, act like you've been there before, son. So, so when, when those, so even way back then when I was 16 years old, um, I always thought, just act like you've been there because, because there's, um, in life, you have so many emotions up and down, you know, even the business. So if you can stay somewhere in the middle, you can achieve more. Sure. And then I also, um, I think it helped me that I had a bigger goal and dream than just 
getting a thousand families helped. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I wasn't, it's like, it. it's okay. It's not where I'm trying to go and I'm trying to, I'm still trying to do more. Yeah. And so it's nothing to get excited about. It's nothing to get upset about. It's something doesn't happen right. But if you get too excited, then people are like, why is he so excited? Like that's really not that good. <laughs> right, right, right. You know what I mean, think about if we got really excited when, when we did 150 families. Yeah, no doubt. I'd be stupid because that's not very many families. That's right. And then we get in. And so, so I think that's how I looked at it. I think I had more, uh, more of a goal, more of a dream, a bigger vision of where I was trying to go with me and my family. Sure. And so that helped me stay even kill. I didn't get too excited. I didn't get too upset when things didn't go right because I knew it worked out. Cause I know we help families. So yeah. you help families. I said this earlier, you sow the right seeds, you get the right harvest. Okay. So if you keep doing, if you're doing the right things in this business, you're going to get the right harvest. You might not be getting it now. Like everybody's, everybody's plants grow faster than others. That's some, right. Some grow slow. You have, but you have to enjoy the process of the growth. Sure. So if you don't enjoy it, I mean, what, what's, what are you doing life for? Like enjoy what you're doing. No, I, I love that. And it's funny. Cause I've been saying, um, you know, mistakes matter less when you have a true purpose or feel like you have a true, oh, you know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah. and that's kind of goes to what you just said. Like it, my dreams and aspirations, they were so big. Like it didn't matter. That didn't matter. It wasn't right. going to stop me. Um, so, okay, cool. And I think for me, what changed my perspective was when I got back from that missions trip to Honduras and seeing how other people live. And then I started, like, I was almost embarrassed about how I would act towards certain things and go like, how you know, grateful. Yeah. How, and how ungrateful I was. Yeah. And then, and it's crazy how just something small like that can change everything. Your dad pulling your face mask going, you'll never carry the damn ball again. Knock it off. Or me seeing a family sleep on dirt with no running water and electricity. I mean, it's just like we we have the greatest opportunity that I've ever seen. Yeah. And you're going to go through it. And if you if you let it affect you, it will. Just like the agents, you think. I've been saying this too. Like, people will let you down if you let them. Meaning, like, they're going to do what they want to do. And, yes, you want everybody to win. But you can't want it more for them. And you also can't expect them to do certain things. That's the other thing. I stopped expecting people to do stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. And, and yeah, well, I, lear I learned a lot yeah. of that from talking to you. Cause you just, I, I'm, and my dad was, is very similar to Sean. Like I'm, oh, yeah. I'm used to high strung, high strung, <laughs> loud, intimidating. And that's the way I was raised. So I'm like, when I, when I actually get to listen to somebody speak like you, I'm like, it's, it's almost soothing. Like I get, <laughs> okay. <laughs> he's uh, and my son's doing, you know, working with us now yeah. and he's, he's, Doing all this manager, I don't. What, what, yeah. what do you even do, bud? What do they call that? I don't even know. Like he's the director. <laughs> director um, of <laughs> but he's like, Dad, why are you always yelling? I'm like, I'm not yelling. I'm just loud. He's like, Well, you're yelling, you know. Yeah. And I'm like, I didn't realize how bad it was until you until you talk to somebody that's quite normal like yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, let's talk about if if somebody wants to build this and and yet yeah, talk low spreads and caring about people working, but Somebody wants to build this fast because it can. I think now with the way FFL set up the systems, everything, the leads, the leadership, the training, somebody can can get from zero to a thousand families a lot faster than than it took you. One hundred percent. And a hell of a lot faster than it took me. What would your some of your advice be or how would you structure it? I would um, I structure Number one, I would, I would do it from day one because if you're not if. I, and if you're, I got in this business to build a business. Okay. Does that make sense? Like I didn't get in here going, well, I'm going to see if it works for me. And I think that's why we are seeing Frankie, we're seeing more people build it faster because the model's proven with so many people. We have guys helping so many families. We have agencies being built so fast. So the model's proven. So now you don't have to prove the model. You just have to work within the model. Right. You know, and we have the systems in place, uh, the new CRM just came out. Everything just keeps getting better. Right. Um, you truly don't have any excuses now. <laughs> right. <laughs> not, not that we had any earlier, because if you make excuses, excuses, an excuse. That's right. But I'm not going to give you uphill in the snow barefooted, but we have the structure. The structure's yeah. here. Sure. Now, as you come into this business with us, now you just have to go to work. And you have to share this. I think you should share this opportunity with everybody you talk to. I was telling the guys earlier, I feel bad because I have a buddy – Played in the big leagues for a while, and I really didn't share it with him. Mm. We actually we played actually played golf together for two years. And he finds like, what do you do for work? <laughs> and um, and I'm like, I, I do insurance. And uh, he goes, can I do it? 
And I was like, man, I could have had this guy. He just got his license like two months ago. Now I'm all pissed <laughs> off. I'm like, you're an idiot because I'm one of the best. Or right. I feel like I'm one of the best. I hire everybody. If you're around me, I try, I'm trying to right. hire you. And um, I just didn't think I judged the book by his cover. I was sure. wrong. I didn't think he wouldn't. He played, like I said, played major league for 10 years. I knew he had a nice house. All the kids are in private school. I didn't think he would want to make some more extra money. Right. And he did. He does. And he's already hired a couple other. So it's just. It's, it's um, so funny. So I would, my advice, and, and the way I think we can grow it so fast because of the structure, the infrastructure we have in place now, but also I think you have to talk to everybody. Don't, don't assume right. that, that they, they don't want to do it because um, I think we're finding, we're seeing that. We got a lot of pro athletes. I think yeah, no doubt. What, Vince Young, I think he just joined yeah. us. I mean, so we have a lot of guys you, you wouldn't think that want to build. And I think the cool thing with those guys is they want to build something special for others. Yeah. And that's kind of where we are now. We weren't, I got it. You're starting out. You got to pay your bills. I'm right. not confused. We were that way too. No doubt. Um, we had to pay our bills, take care of our families. We're still doing that. But now it's like the more money we can make, the more people we can help. Hell yeah. And I think that's the cool part. You're watching the Vince Youngs and the other athletes coming out. Yeah. That Sean are, Merriman. That's yeah. That are join, right? joining yeah. us. Um, I mean, I've hired two that, um, that played in the major leagues for over 10 years. They made a lot of money. One of them was a um, MVP in the national league one year. Wow. So, but they're doing insurance. Right. Because they, so they can help more people. It's not all about the dollar bill. No, they're leaders. They, and, right. And what I've realized, like, this is the greatest team I've ever been a part of. Yeah, I agree. That's yeah. the other thing, too. Like, those guys like teams. Oh. And, and if you get on this team, yeah, you're you're good. One of them said that. He said, uh, and he hasn't met everybody yet because he, he literally got his license like three weeks ago. But he said, he said the hardest part when you leave baseball is missing the locker room. Mm-hmm. And um, people don't understand that. They've never been in a locker room, but that's 100% spot on. And we have a great locker room here. Heck so yeah. that's awesome. It's fun. Yeah. It really is fun. Um, so let's fast forward to the initial talk with integrity. Because when Sean, I remember where I was standing when Sean called me and told me. Um, it was, in fact, it was Memorial Day. Mm -hmm. Like, And I'm, and I'm, at, I'm at a cookout. And I'm like, I got to answer my, you know, it's Sean. I'm like, he always calls it the, and oh, yeah. it's like, he's got a little, he's got like a, a, a drone following me around. So like when I'm doing something and I'm like, feel bad. And he calls, I'm like, it's Sean, I can answer. So I'm like, what's up? He's like, I, I, you know, long story short, I'm, I'm looking at this company and, and tired of not having enough resources to, to give you all what you need. And he, he partnered with Integrity and shortly after, you know, the first group you were, yeah. you were one of them. What did that look like? How did it how did it sound to you? And and what what do you think has changed from the time you signed till now? Oh man, that that's that's a great question. So first, um, you and I both know Sean well. Uh -huh. So when he called me as well, um, I'm like, well, this is crazy because you know um, he he always says he's not a good assistant coach. He's a good head right, coach. and I know that. So I'm like, I have to meet these guys. So I said, so I asked him, I said, can you set a meeting up? I want to fly. I want to fly to Dallas. I want to meet him. And, um, he goes, absolutely. He was your love him. Cause I, I, I trust was, I didn't. Yeah, no doubt. And, and I told, I told Brian that when we sat, when I'm flying there, I met with Brian and, um, and them and, and I, I sat down and the first thing I said was, I'm not really going to ask you a whole lot of questions about you guys. Um, because I know Sean, like I'm over trustworthy and Sean's under trust. Like Sean doesn't trust anybody. Very true. Yeah. And I'm like, so he's going to do, he goes, I, I told them, I said, I'm good. I don't have to ask you. I don't have to ask any business questions or, um, I I'm, I'm good. Um, I just want to understand how, how it works and stuff like that. And they, they were shocked. They're like, why? You know, I'm like, no right. dude. I'm like, can I guarantee you? Sean asked y'all plenty of questions. Well, they start laughing. They're like, Oh yeah. yeah right. And, um, so, so that was that part of it. And then um, fast forwarding to now, what, what are, what are they, what is different is, is, um, having a big brother. Does that make sense with, you know, something happens like we just redid the CRM. It's phenomenal. Right. No doubt. Um, so that's just a small part, but I think the leads, you know, we have more, we have more, um, availability of leads that that was a big part. Um, just the infrastructure of the technology that we're able to, and we're just learning. We're only, I'm only two years in right. to the partnership with them. And so it's just like learning it small, slowly. And, um, but it's the biggest part for me is the big brother part. If I ever have a problem, I mean, they have, they have accountants on staff, mm -hmm. they have attorneys on staff and they're very receptive. Uh, yeah. Very good. And, um, so that big brother part in the, the lead part in the structure, the CRM, the technology part that they bring yeah. that we didn't have. 
No doubt. I mean, we it were was wild, bad. wild west. I yes, mean, it's like it was. I'm like the CRM was shut down on Mondays because everybody's <laughs> buying leads on Mondays. <laughs> I'm That's like, right. I'm like, man, buy your leads on Sunday because you're not gonna be able to get them. You know, and it's it's we took as far as we could take it with sweat equity. Yeah, no doubt. You well, when you say there's no you like no excuses, but like it wasn't an excuse. It was a fact. Like we couldn't have gotten <laughs> this big. We didn't have any lead. Like we bought every lead that was available to mankind that we could get our hands on. And so it wasn't like an excuse. It was just we didn't have the resources to do it. And integrity's given us that. Um, and then some, and, and yeah, it's, 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 it's nice for, and, and honestly, like for me, it's kind of nice because Sean, Sean was everybody's big brother. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then that's gotta be exhausting. You know, like I have some friends and when we go out, I feel like I'm always the one watching, you know what I mean? To make sure everybody's Taking good. Care, yeah. And sometimes I'm tired. Like, I just don't, you know what I mean? Like it's gotta 100%. get exhausting. So like now to have somebody that has his back as well is, is pretty cool for him. Because we all know what, we, what he went through in the beginning as well with, with the legal stuff. And, you know, wouldn't have it any other way. I think we learned so much. But to see that has been pretty cool. Um, realistically, do you, how many people, how, how start, if I started today, real, realistically, true numbers, how fast do you think I could build my business to the point where Integrity would want to, to partner with me? 12 months. Legit. Legit. I think you do in 12 months. Can you yeah. give me a roadmap? Yeah. So um, every agent, so you hire about 25 agents is about 150. 150 families a month. 150 families a month. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, so, so do that math. So if you do, you can do 25. Um, you, have, you have to hustle. Okay. If you do 25 a month, that's four months gets you to what? 700 families. families. Yeah, yeah, I got you. No worries. And then... So, but, so you'll be realistic. If you're brand new, you're not going to recruit 25 a month, right? No, so, it's got to be tough. So let's do 12, 12 a month. I think you can recruit two or three people. That's 1,800 families a month by the end of the 12 months. So that's one. Yeah. That's right. They were there. Yep. Okay. So, no. but, but let's do a half. Let's do half. So maybe a year and a half. Okay. If you just hire 12. So think how simple it is to hire, to recruit 12 people. A month. a month yeah it's it's pretty simple yeah it really is if you're if just you're if you're asking if you're, if, if you're working and asking if you're excited about what we do which Correct. you should be because this is the best business period sure if you're excited about it and you are recruiting non-stop i got in this business to build a business i didn't get in this business just to sell life insurance sure and if you're doing the same thing if your goal was to get an integrity deal then you should be doing the same thing you have to sell insurance because mm -hmm. you have to have the money to build your business but I think anybody and everybody could hire 12 if they're talking to enough people right. a month, recruit, you, you recruit 12 a month and then do the math on it. It's so maybe a year and a half worst case. Yeah. So if, no you're, doubt. Hump, so if you're humping it a year, but yeah, a year to year to um, 16, 18 months. Yeah. No. And that's, that's, I never thought about it like that, but that's really sim simple. I mean, and, and we have the ability to do that yeah. without a shadow of a doubt. All right. So one last question for you. What is the what's the hardest thing you've overcome in this industry? You personally that I over ever, that you've overcome. overcome. Yep, <laughs> we just talked about it. Um, the hardest thing for me was to stay even kill when um, we had some lead stuff going on. Mm -hmm. um, I had forty forty nine thousand dollars of leads I had to pay for in one week, wow. um, and that that was pretty tough. It was over a hundred um, thousand in, in a month that 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 was, you ate that I ate. Yep. Okay. Um, we were doing, I remember like yesterday, I was, we were doing, um, we were helping 600 families a month at that time. Okay. Um, and we went to helping um, about 1,800 families in the next two months because <laughs> I had to get out and help more families myself. Right. To replenish the money that came out of the account. And, and as I sped up, the group sped up. So we basically almost tripled in two or three months. Based off of that? Based off of that one month of getting. Of so hell. I, yeah. Really? Yeah. Right. It was like a slot machine. And you could have quit. I could have, yeah. Could have cried. Yeah. That wouldn't have worked out well. No, <laughs> Not I here. No. Um, but it's crazy how that works because that's, yeah. I think some of our fastest growth has come right after something that while you're going through it, you it seems to be devastating. Yeah. And then you talk to folks like yourself or, you know, Mark and Sean, obviously, and they're like, no, you're going to be good. <laughs> and you're like, yeah, right. easy for you to say sitting over there. <laughs> and then you just put your head down, go to work, and you pick it up. You're like, wow, yeah. they were right because right. y'all had been through it, yeah. right? And yeah. it's, that's awesome, man. Yes, that's it.
Dude, how if they want to follow you on social media, how do they follow you? Oh, Lord. What's your, um, <laughs> what's your, wait, we're going to put well, it up well, on the well, screen. Well, so. We'll have to get it to Danielle. <laughs> yeah. She can send it out. Uh, I, I honestly don't know. Uh, Rochelle would know. It's, um, I mean, it's FFL Southeast. Yes. It's on Facebook. Kilomet, of course, the last name, K-I-L-L-I-M-E-T-T. There you uh, go. Just my, just Mike. Just look at me on Instagram and Facebook. So, guys, he's, like find me. no doubt. And, and again, just click the link on the bottom. Um, he's been with us since day one or, and, and it's been an honor to be in business with you, man. Now we're truly partners and cause you know, I was on that Island by myself, you know, yeah. and, and it was, I think nine or eight, eight or nine of us originally. And there's six left. And like y'all were, I, I was, I always felt like a little bit of a black sheep cause I was so different than everybody. <laughs> and, and you know, you're, I, you're really not though. No, I'm not, but I just, I guess I, I felt that way. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Cause you don't understand. Well, yeah, you, you know? don't know. Yeah. Um, and now it's like, now, dude, we're, we're, we're all one big team and, and it's going fast. So I thank you for everything you've done for us and for FFL and guys kill him. He's a beast. I mean, I promise you the stuff I've learned from him over the last few years is, has been nothing shy of, of amazing. And again, without him, we wouldn't be sitting in the studio, wouldn't have had the money because we were, we were helping <laughs> 1200 families a month too. And it's not yeah. like, you're not cash flowing as much as everybody thinks when you're doing that because you're putting it all back into business. So it's, right. there was not a bunch extra yeah, and, yeah. and you were like, dude, I'll help you. So dude, I can't thank you enough for that. Jamie and I are, are super grateful and just looking forward to see where the next five year goes, man. Yeah, man. Well, I appreciate you more, you know, too. That's why it was so easy to do it. Right. Number one, cause I knew right. how hard you work. I knew, um, you know, I believed in you and Jamie. So it's not, it, it wasn't hard. So, and then this is like a big brother moment. I'd love when I walked out. I was like, dude, this is nice. <laughs> right. I heard me do my house, man. This is awesome. Yeah. But, uh, man, I appreciate everything you do. And, and it is, it's a brotherhood. So, appreciate That's right. you. Thank you, man. Appreciate you guys. All right. Till next time, y'all make it a big week. Thank you, Mike.